Hi, this is Jeff Holsinger. I'm going to do a video today on how to import models to your iX20 from the Google Drive Cloud. Let's make a couple assumptions. The first assumption is that you've watched some of my previous videos on how to install Google Drive on your PC and Google Drive on your iX20 or your iX12 radio. If you haven't done so, just Google my name on YouTube and there's a series of videos on there and look at the one that says something about Google Drive. You must understand that part of the procedure before this part will make any sense. So let's get started quickly. There's several different ways of actually doing it, but I'm going to show you probably the easiest way to do it uh, so that you don't have to learn a couple different programs so this is very easy to do it because I assume most of you know how to run your your PC your Windows based PC and you also know how to run an Apple PC so let's start out with a Windows based PC this is it looks like a tablet but it's actually a Windows 10 PC the first thing I want to do is I've got Google Drive loaded onto the PC so I'm just going to go down to my computer and Google Drive if you look real close just looks like a drive on a computer so I'm going to click on that okay so I'm going to bring up Google Drive then it's going to show my drive then from my drive it's going to show two folders that I've created first folder is a DX20 folder and the second folder is an IX20 SE folder now the difference between the files in these two folders is the DX20 folder, if we expand it here, it is all SPM files and they've been brought over from a DX18 to a DX20 or whatever. That's models that I've had on previous older radios. So they're all SPM files. The IX20 files, if you expand those, they're all ISPM files. Now the thing to remember here is SPM files will work on uh, IX20 and IX12 radios but ISPM files don't go backwards to the DX18, DX9, DX20s. So got two folders on my drive. This is what I've got currently on my IX20 SE and this is what I've currently got from all my older radios so let's get started so the first thing I want to do is I want to expand this folder and I have a ton of files here on this folder so the next thing we want to do to make this things simple is I'm going to put in a empty micro SB card okay so I've just done so so first thing I want to do is I'm gonna let's just do them all for the heck of it so I'm gonna click on Pawnee and then this is just Windows based stuff and I'll go down here to this one so I've highlighted them all and I'm gonna to go to copy to and then the location I want to copy it to is my USB drive so you just go over here and I know this is redundant for users but just go over here to USB drive and I say copy okay and what it'll do, it'll copy all of those SPM files over to this USB drive. I could also do it with the ISPM files, but there's really no reason to do that. So now I've got all those files from the Google Drive Cloud, which is my basically my master backup, and I've got them on a micro SD card. So I pause the video, put the SD card into the iX20 and I'll show you what to do from there okay now we got the iX20 booted up and we have the micro SD card inserted in the iX20 that has all the files that I just copied from the cloud the Google Drive cloud now there's different ways of doing this but I'm just going to show you this simple way and then I'll make a video in a few weeks showing you how to do it the Android way but it's a little more complicated so anyway here's the transmitter light tap the pencil long press the proceed okay three little dots in the corner click on them it says import models boom 
look at there there's all the models that I just imported from the cloud onto my SD card let's go out and pick one for example let's do the turboprop beast I'm gonna confirm now you have to do that before it ends up into your model utility program so now let's see if it's there these are all the ones that I've done previous so there it is turboprop beast so that's all there is to it that's how you use the Google Drive cloud to import models into your iX20 in a couple weeks I'll show you how to do it the Android way and you don't have to use the SD card but uh, a little more complicated so let's try this out first and then eventually we'll get into the more advanced stuff got any questions give me a holler on the telephone I'll be glad to talk to you thank you